everybody, this is EverQuest Studios, and this is my Briarfest haul slash loot for Briarfest 2017. If you don't know, I go every other year, so I will not be going for off to the races, most likely, unless like I win the lottery or something, because money. Yes, I'm still in my pajamas. These are my two extra surprise horses. Um, I got three. Um, these two are going to friends who weren't able to go, so. We're gonna smart start off with some of the smaller stuff. Um, I'm really tired. Um, two pins, this is my ticket pin. This is, I got from my froggy stuff, which is really cool. Two magnets for free, two the Briar Quest pins. I got two of these tattoos, but one's on my arm, and then I got a cinch bag. Then I got this for my, for my celebration horse. Are you, which I just thought it was super cute, so I was like, why not? He had the sixteen dollars, and then so I went to the Instagram meet, and I got to meet so many fun people, and uh, but I'll go into that more when I go to horses. But and I won one of the raffles, and I got and I won the carriage tack, which is really cute, and <laughs> this one's open because I put it on my one of my horses, so, then, um, here's, I got this shirt, it says I'll stop collecting when I'm dead, and then I got the Tony as Toady sticker, he's so cute in real life, guys, oh my god, my collector's club thing, so let's get on to ponies, I got this custom, which is my first ever custom, I got him on the show jumping, warm blend mold or something like that, and, he started my love for the mold, so now I conga it. Surprise, surprise. And I got him this pony pouch from the late, um, from studio, studio Thorn Rose's room. And then I got Sylvester, and I got this guy for 35 And I got Sylvester for, uh, 25 And I don't remember, it was, it was, I talked the lady down to 25 and something. Him in this little pouch, he's super cute. He's... LSQ, so that's pretty nice dappling. And then, um, sorry, I'm getting like sick or something <laughs> right after breakfast, which at least it wasn't during, but if you hear a lot of breathing, <laughs> that's me being nasty. Um, this was both on Thursday night, because I get, I, we always leave Wednesday night and get there Thursday morning sometimes, so. And then I got Navia, which is freaking cute. Like, like, it's about to be, like, a little bit size. But he, yeah, he, he's really cute. Um, I'm not a big fan of decorators, but I had to get him. Then I won this guy from Serenity Beach Stables or Studios or something like that. Because I found her at the horse park and I was first to like talk to her and stuff. So she gave me him. And like for size comparison. This is the draft. He's like one of the bigger ones. That is Navia. This is the jumper. Okay he's big. And then I got this guy. These two were. These two and this guy was on Friday. So yeah. Then I got these two Friday night walking around with Briar Trot or XX Briar Trot. She's great. Um, and so, and I got this guy for 18, who was originally 20. Got this guy for $2, who was originally 4, but they were having a half off price, so I had to get them. And then I got this Pebbles on Saturday night and it's body so I got it for like 10 bucks it, it probably it nanned before it became a body so in 2015 I'm guessing um but I bought it to mostly get customized um who knows maybe I'll get it repaired and then so Friday that so Friday I went to the pop-up store instead of the end pod because I wasn't about to do that um, and I was like, the end, the pop-up store was quick, 
and I had special on times to meet, so I didn't want to be waiting in line. So I got an elephant, I got marigold, and then I got two crystals. And of course, I got that guy. And then I got my celebration horse on Saturday. Get your celebration horses on Saturday. There's never any line, okay? Because everybody's like, oh, Friday, have to get it. Like, I get it if you're showing, but if you're just going to be there for, like, the entire time, go on Saturday. There's no line. And I'm really happy for him. I can't go the Marwari mold. I have hot couture up there, so. Um, and I got Don't Look Twice for 25 Um, I just got it from the Roxy Conga. Just all the babies up there. Those aren't all my horses up there. Uh, I have more shelves out in the main rooms and stuff. But she's nice. She's Alice Q. I didn't buy her for showing, but I just bought her because she's cute. <laughs> or for little lipstick. And then I got Raja for the Marwari Kanga from a really nice lady. The Clarion for 70 Um, so we talked about shows and stuff because I'm going to my first live show in October. Um, and I have to drive all the way to Pennsylvania because I live in Virginia. There are no shows here. So I'm going to intermediary um live so that'll be fun in harrisburg pennsylvania region 9 say hi see me um then i got sunny from studio thorn rose as well um she was originally 35 i can talk but i got her for 30 and she's lsq proven so yeah and i needed her for my weather girls i now have all three of them even though my Partly Cloudy is a body, because I played with her, I'm smart. And then I got Repeat the Beat, which, okay, it's so a story time. I went, I'm sitting down, <laughs> my legs hurt. Um, so I went into the, well, I went into the Briar store on Saturday. I didn't really go, because I had a workshop at 10, and I didn't know they weren't going to be opening up till 10, and they really opened up at like 9.45. My dad was like... And so my dad was like, I don't want you to miss your workshop. I'll go in. I was like, okay, you have to look for things. But a lady in front of us helped pick out one that was nice quality with crisp markings, no goopy eyes, because those were, like, the main things that were a problem. The only place he really has overspray was, of course, the cheeks and stuff, but I think that was intentional. And then there, which on his white markings, which really, we have masking for a reason. You know? Oh! And then, Saturday, I picked up this guy, gone for 50, he's PSQ, um, he's not live show quality because he has prepping flaws, but he's by Long's Custom Studios, or Courtney Long, and I bought him for pictures, so, he'll be cute, because I needed, like, a light colored, not, like, white or gray, but, like, a creamy colored horse, and then, I got Tallulah for my friend, who was still packed up. Because until she gets her, Tallulah's staying in the bubble wrap. So, this is how I pack horses. Have them in toilet paper, then secure the bubble wrap with rubber bands because it saves, keeps hard. Mm. Okay, so for special run times, I had two on Friday and one on Sunday. And my first one, I got Indu. He's really nice. He came with some flaws. The lady, so, he has flaws all over his body. You know, he has paint, see, like, hold on, that's toilet paper. But he has, like, this giant, like, scratch. You can't see because of the shine on them. And then, why can't I find them now? They were so, pro it's probably because of the lighting. Can't see him because of the lighting, but he has, like, pinprick white marks all over him, you know, he has rubs, and, yeah, and he has, like, overspray right there, like, look, his white mark is freaking brown, oh my god, and I didn't even see this one, oh no, I did, and he has that, and the, and he has overpainting there, like, they just smudged it. And the lady, she was so rude. Like, she was...
she says to me, you should be lucky, and blah, 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 blah. Some people didn't even come. I'm like, I paid for this model. I paid for a nice quality model, and mine comes with a bunch of rubs. She wouldn't return them. But, you know, it is what it is. Don't really care. And then, got a surprise horse. I originally got the chestnut overo. I don't like the chestnut overo. I got one when I went the year with the quail surprise. I was able to deal with him because he was cute. But... I named him Copy and Paste because he looks just like Hidalgo. But when I got him on this mold, when I got one again, I said no. One just no overo is enough. And so I traded for the buckskin because the lady didn't want the buckskin. So he's LSQ. And then for my second one, I got Vahana. Again, let's see. Tons of flaws. There's scuffs there. Or is he missing the paint? I think that's the other side. And if you look, apparently a lot of them are like this. Like, they didn't finish painting the manes. Like, at all. And then there's, like, just paint missing there. If you it'll focus. Come on. And there you go. See, and then... Other than that, he's pretty nice. Um, I'm hopefully, I'll hopefully be able to fix all their flaws with the pastels, but I don't know. So, then I got another Bollywood, and then, so my second time, I got another one of him. So I traded for this guy, who's really cute. I really like him. He has one blue, one brown eye, and he's super adorable. So, I like him. The buckskin has to be my favorite variation, though. So, my phone will stay focused. And I got Kali, and she came completely LSQ. Thank goodness, because I'm about to throw a fit. So, usually, I have pretty good luck with getting LSQ models. Like, my Naomi and Winona, LSQ. My two surprise was LSQ. My Chante, he had, he had a small rub, but that was, like, after I had him for a year. Got one because he fell. I have to get your LSQ. You know, it's like, really? But, so, my last session run was this guy. Well, technically, I got a glossy buckskin. But I already had a buckskin, and the gloss on the buckskin, to me, just made him look, like, more washed out. Like, I like, his, like, his shading is already very prominent. I was like, okay. And then, but, like, some little girl really wanted the glossy buckskin, and she got the glossy pentalusa. So I traded with her, and really happy, because this guy, I, I like the glossy much better than the matte. Like, these two, I really like the mattes. Like, him, I don't think, like, buckskins and glossy really need to happen, just because, like, yes, he's pretty and glossy, but I prefer it on darker models, because it really brings out the shading on in like the darker models with the shading and stuff or like dark grays or something but I'm really happy with him so yeah so that's my haul I had a really fun time meeting everybody I saw Da Vinci Creations like five times throughout the entire weekend and I was like too afraid to talk to him because he always looked like he was heading somewhere in a rush and I didn't want to be like rude but I had a really fun time walking around with Briar Trot um, Friday night, and then I saw her at the youth show. I didn't show, but I did the pickup with him. So, but yeah, really fun time. I also met Blooming Briars, which she was there when I bought my Sunny and my Pony Pouch. So, but I hope everybody who went to Briar Fest had a really fun time, got all the ponies they wanted. Um... And everybody who didn't, I'm sorry. I hope you can go next year. But, yeah. And I only go every other year, so I will not be going to, off to the races next year. But that's okay. I really had fun this year. And, you know, racehorses aren't really my forte. I can really appreciate their beauty and elegance. But, you know, my friend Sydney is super big into racing. And the funny thing is, I went to Briarfest with zero Latigos. I now have a conga. My friend Sydney, conga is the Latigo mold. 
So I bought her Tallulah, you know, fr uh, Thursday night before we knew it. I find out, I text her. She's crying because she can't get... Before that, before, like, they announced what the surprise horse was, all she needed was the original lad to go to complete her conga, but now she needs all these guys, so... But I'm not really going to sell any of them. If I do ever sell them, they'll probably be to her. But I'm super happy with all my purchases. Didn't get as many horses as I did in past years. But I'm happy. So I hope to maybe make more videos in the future. I've been super busy with work and everything. I did buy all these models myself. Because I work. Except for that one. Because that was my friend's model. But it's going to her. Because so. I work and... You know, I save up money, so thank you all for watching. Goodbye.